Hey what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got the usual breakdown for Isanzo's 18th dev blog. So today was fully focused on artillery, and the varying options it presents for officers to call in support of varying strength. Now I should specify only the smaller mortars will be usable by players and we won't be able to manually fire larger artillery. That being said, they'll still be featured on the maps, especially on sabotage objectives where they'll be what we need to blow up in order to advance to the following sectors. Here we can see an example of one of those, that being the 149mm Italian artillery. Now for the others, there will be 5 different size levels that can be called in by the officers. The smaller the size, the shorter the cooldown, and the larger the size, the longer the cooldown, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Here we have an example of the smallest strike, the mortars, and they made special note that with all of these, there will in fact be rock shrapnel that can fly from explosions to kill or injure. So now that we've seen the little ones in action, let's talk about the big guns. Here we see the giant siege artillery of both sides. On the left is the Austro-Hungarian and on the right is the Italian. And this is what their explosions look like on the receiving end. In this next gif we can see what the support call in UI looks like. This shows us five options for each of the three classes. We have mortars, field guns, heavy artillery, barrage, and creeping barrage for our artillery options. Then we have smoke, bromide gas, creeping smoke, phosphine gas, and mustard gas for our chemical options, which I assume will be in increasingly lethal in game, excluding the smoke of course. And then finally our aviation options which are recon, bomb, strafing run, heavy bomber, and bomber squadron. For now we only have footage of the artillery though, and here is an example of the creeping artillery at an increased speed. This will fire 16 moving shells in a straight line, where the barrage will call in 10 in a circular radius. It's important to note that with both of these, hitting the same spot twice will increase the amount of shells fired by 25% on each repeat strike. As you can see here, there are some of those rock shrapnel and lethal particles I was talking about earlier, and I gotta say, the explosion effects look absolutely fantastic. And finally, to close out this dev blog, we have another look at some of the Italian binoculars used to spot enemies in game. In the next few dev blogs, we'll get some more information about those gas and aerial reinforcements, and hopefully a concrete release date. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.